Hello again, the same old project about this little oscilloscope having a battery. I'm talking about the DCA138 Pro and I've been criticized. Dimitri Kovtin, thank you very much, Dimitri. I've been criticized doing a very idiotic thing, attaching a simple battery to this guy, you know. Yeah, maybe it's idiotic, but it's working. And as long as we are here, let's prove some numbers. And by the way, YouTube should have a kind of verbal police. May I call it like that? Because, you know, it's, it's not fair for the people, you know, just to get punches, vocal punches, of course, verbal punches without any cover. Let's call it cover or proof. We're not talking anything but facts. So let me have my multimeter on volts and let me see this guy. It's on. No, let's put it on. Now it's on. It's working. Let me check first the battery voltage at the input right here. So we clearly have 3.8 volts. Let's take this out because in the meantime, I also have a 5 volts power supply ready for testing. So let's see. Do we got any more power here? We should. Obviously, we have 5.3 volts. Very nice. The machine is working. Of course, it's working. Okay. Let's go back to the battery. And what I observed first, in this area here, we have a clear boost converter. So, is it on? Yes, it's on. We have a ground connection here. And what I want to show you, it's very simple to understand. You see, down here, it's saying 5 volts. How the hell can we have 5 volts when we have a 3.8 or 6 or 3 volts battery or something? But look here, people. We have a very clear 5 volts power supply. Why? Because we have a boost converter here. And if we check the numbers after this diode, 5 volts on the coil, 3.3. So one of this circuit here, it's doing the boost converter. Okay, 5 volts. Okay, let me check. We have a capacitor here. Okay, let me check this number here. 3.2 volts with the battery attached there. Yeah? Okay, remember that 3.3. 3.2 okay let's take the battery out let's have the power supply is it on yes it is check here 3.2 volts let's have some more um, I don't know where Oh, this is the signal output, something else. Okay, let's have the circuits here. There's 74 uh, multiplexer or something. And we have a 5 volts up there. You see? Is it 5 volts? Of course it is. Power supply off, battery on. It's on? Yes, it's on. So, remember we had 5 volts up there in that corner. Let's see. Five volts. Magic. Magic. How comes from 3.8 to 5? That's impossible. Okay. Some more voltage. 3.3 here. Oh, let me find some more. Anything around the controller. Look there. So we have a 3.2 volts here with the battery. Okay. It's on, yes. On this capacitor, 3.2, remember? 3.2. So do you think the machine is really care about the, the voltage is uh, at the input? I mean, at this port? Not at all. The TP5400, it's a circuit, you know, for uh, controlling the charging and discharging of the battery. But I don't need that because I'm based on the BMS. 
Anyway, I'm not charging this battery with, with more than 500 milliamps or something. Anyway, it's, it's, it's something very small and there is no danger of anything. Finally, we have a back converter, a boost converter here, which provides in both cases the right voltages for the uh, microprocessor and for everything else related to Look there, 3.2 volts. I don't even see around the processor any, any 5 volts, by the way. 3.2. 3.2. We have a 5 volts here by this guy. So, people, it's absolutely safe to have this kind of uh, mode. Use a battery, but check for the BMS. So don't apply a simple battery plus minus here. That can be a problem. A BMS, you know, like that. You see here is the circuit inside there with uh, voltage control, of course, with power control and all the other stuffs. And by the way, let's do a crazy experiment. I'm shorting just in case something wrong happens, a puncture or anything. I'm just shorting the battery now. Short. And it's decoupling. No more power here. The BMS is doing the job. Okay. Now off and on again. Nothing happened. Nothing at all. Because I have the BMS taking care of the battery criticizes a way of progress but when you are just barkling <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> it's not at all before writing something on YouTube please check the numbers do the experiments and uh, you know there is no help in uh, having a bad attitude anyway okay let's do some measuring test we both battery and uh, and power supply. First, we'll do a voltage measurement, a DC voltage measurement. Let's go on manual better. Here we have DC coupling. Um, 10 volts is too much. 2 volts, that's much better. Okay, and let's check these numbers. 167 the RMS, you know, is jumping up and down. Okay, remember that. Now, I'm sorry, I have to take this out again because we need to decoupling to we'll take the battery off. 167 volts, okay. Was that realistic? Now, let me have a five volts power supply going down to 5 volts, 2 volts here, then DC coupling, and there we go, 167, 1, you see, same story, absolutely the same, absolutely the same. What else? Let me use this guy as a signal generator. Okay, so it's number 2 and number 3, okay, this is 2. And this is number three. All right, we are good to go. Now, auto? No, of course not. We are still on DC. No, I want to change that. Look at the frequency here. 265. The numbers are jumping somehow, but it's not a dramatic. 52, 55, point to peak to peak. Okay, remember this. Let's take out the power supply. Let's put on the battery. Auto again. Do you see anything suspect here? Same story. Look at the frequency. 10,000, it's working great. Okay, let's go to 5,000. There we go, 5,000. The same RMS 263. Okay, let's go to 25. Look there. It's very accurate. 50. 
100. Now it's on battery. Okay. 153. Still reading. 250. Oh, okay. It's kind of... But it's still reading the frequency. 260, 270. You see? 500, not anymore. It's gone. 258. No, that's too much for this little guy. Look at the voltages. But I may say... Until 150 kilohertz is working great. So this is on battery. Okay. Now let's go on power supply. Is it any better? Nah. 25. Okay, 50 kilohertz. And this is a square wave. It's pretty difficult to read. 153 look there 200 and okay that's it for this little guy let's go down there 10 hertz no it's not reading anymore but 50 no sorry I'm pushing too much. We just need a short push on auto. Voila. Okay. Same frequency. On battery. Very clear. Is the battery, no? Any difference? You should tell me. Is there any difference? I don't see it. Okay, guys. Like I said before, criticize. It's a progress. Criticize means progress. But when you are just barkling without numbers or, or uh, proper measurements, uh, just because the book is saying this and this, well, that's not progress. This is just, uh, we call that a horse glasses you know horse spectacles how i call that anyway you follow rules and you follow uh, rumors and folklore because you don't have enough uh, how can i say courage let's call it courage and intuition you know to follow your own paths okay thank you dimitri you really did a great job having me checking all these things See you guys, please like, please subscribe, and of course, don't forget, have fun. Bye-bye.